or this is the final part of the matrices chapter. I'm going to wrap up by talking about determinants. So you might remember we did a determinant in the last lesson. Looks like that. So it looks like absolute value. That's what it looks like to take the determinant. So take determinant. You're going to see these vertical lines like that. And again, we typically are going to see it with a two by two. And to do that, you simply multiply the first diagonal, A times D, and subtract the second diagonal, B times C. And it's pretty straightforward. That's it. Now that's limited because what if you don't have a two by two? What if you have a three by three? So today I'll show you how to do a three by three. And there actually is another way, but I'm not going to show you that way. This is the more simple way to do it. So I'm going to put my vertical bars like that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. This method's pretty cool, because all you have to do is grab the first two columns like that, duplicate them, and put them next to the actual matrix. And now, going to multiply the diagonals like so. So it's very similar to the two by two, right? A times D. So that's going to be AEI plus BFG plus CDH. Now here's where it's a little bit different. You're going to go up now. And notice how there are three of these. And if you look at the other one, Notice how this made a minus BC, same thing. It's going to be minus GEC minus HFA minus IDB. And that's how you do it. So let's actually practice a couple of these things now. So it says evaluate the determinant. So notice how it gives you this direction. It actually needs to put that because you'll see that this is a regular matrix. These brackets indicate regular matrices. Had it just been like this, you wouldn't need directions because this would actually mean take the determinant. But so that's why they put that here. So let's actually do it now. So five, six, seven, three. That's 15 minus 42. That's negative 27. The next one is 2, 4, negative 3, negative 5. That is negative 10 plus 12, which is 2. So pretty easy. Make a little harder. It says A, B, and C, D. The determinant is 4. So what is this going to be? So do it like we always do. This would be CB minus ADE. And notice how this thing, it says it's four, but that's also equal to AD minus BC. So really look at how these two are related. They're pretty similar. So what if for this one, I just take a negative out, that's gonna flip it around. And now the answer is more apparent. AD minus BC is four. So this thing is negative four. That's a pretty cool way you can manipulate a determinant. Now let's try a kind of a fancy problem. A two by two matrix is defined as this. A sub ij is two i minus j. Find a, and again, notice how those bars are there. That means find the determinant of a. So to do this, we're going to have to figure out the matrix A. Now you probably you're probably wondering like what is this thing right here, A i comma j. This is referring to the actual elements in the matrix. So this is A one one for row one column one. This is A one two row one column two. This would be A two one and this would be A two two. So this would translate 
two, one, zero, three, two. Now you might be wondering how I did that. Well, look at this, I plugged it in. This is one, one. So I plugged in one and one. Two minus one is one. One, two, plug it in here, you get zero. Two, one, plug it in, you get three. Two, two, plug it in, you get two. So now I want to take the determinant of that. That would be two minus zero, which is two. Here's our next example. Find the determinant of this one. So hopefully remember the technique I showed you. Four, negative nine, negative three, one, three, eight, zero, four, one. We're simply gonna grab the first two and then do the diagonals like so. So that's gonna be 12 minus 12 plus zero. So zeros are great every time you have a zero. That's gonna be minus zero. And notice again, these are going up, so I'm gonna put negative here. That would be eight times, or 32 times four, it's 128. And then the last one, that's gonna be minus negative nine, so plus nine. So these cancel, negative 128 plus nine, negative 119 is our answer. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool application of a determinant right here. So you might remember in geometry or even in algebra two, you might be given coordinates. So notice how it says the vertices of a triangle are the following. This gives you a way to calculate the area of the triangle. So it says then the area of this triangle is equal to the absolute value of this formula. So a really cool formula. It lets you find the area of any triangle as long as you have the vertices of the triangle. So let's try it. So one half, the or doesn't really matter. So just plug it in. Two, three, one, negative three, six, one, negative five, four, one. Let's duplicate that. Okay, so one half, and we're gonna figure this big thing out. So that's gonna be 12 minus 15 minus 12. Now go up. That's gonna be plus 30 minus eight and then plus nine. Okay, so one half, let's work this out. I can see the 12 will cancel. That's gonna make um, 15 minus eight plus nine, that's 16, so. And notice how I said the absolute value, so I'm gonna write absolute value of this thing. So that thing's positive, so that's nice. The reason this is in here, or this is in here, is because had we switched these around, it's possible that we got a negative number. So this thing just ensures the answer is positive. And that would be eight. So the area of this triangle with these vertices is eight. Now in geometry, had you done that, that would have taken you forever, or even algebra two. Now you have a technique that can do it in maybe a quarter of the time.